every time when people build something there's always comments saying you shouldn't do that and you shouldn't do this so that's why we don't ever ask advice we just do every renovation as we please and then read the hateful comments oh my god you are destroying your bathroom This is our camper van's bathroom slash toilet during our last house sit. We did fix our leaking shower pan, so now it's totally water sealed and working and we can take hot showers there. But after that we decided we don't really like this bathroom. There is this tampering door that we have always hated because it doesn't slide very well. Then we do have the cassette toilet that fills up really quickly and cassette toilet is excellent to own in a western part of the Europe because there's plenty of empty spots but our future travels go to eastern Europe where it's not that much services for camper vans so we have bought a composting toilet so our plan is to tear apart the toilet and the shower pan and see what's underneath there and then maybe upgrade or downgrade our bathroom and our hopes are that we can still use our shower yeah there is uh, many ways after we have demolished the toilet and we don't have tools <laughs> we don't have any uh, knowledge what's beneath there there should be just a uh, like floor that's it but we don't know uh, we don't really know yet how we're gonna do we would want to have it uh, tile floor two uh, separate uh, drainage in the bottom and, and that's it and maybe we need to use uh, this plastic mat which is used in the showers maybe we need to make it from metal I don't know but first we demolish then we think how we're gonna do it yeah then we see what's underneath there so our composting toilet or separating toilet has arrived which goes to our van when we start renovating it. You can do separating toilet by yourself. You can buy 60 euro kit, which has a separating parts and the toilet seat. But we wanted something really convenient, really small, compact, known design that works. And I will be the guy who mostly does the emptying part, so the poop part and the pee part so it's really important to, um, to me that everything is sealed very good because we tried those bumpy roads and I want everything to be easy to clean so that's why we chose this a rather expensive toilet but come on this is our house we are not going to be cheap about it this is totally sealed like our cassette toilet we have the fan on a cassette toilet. This has also a fan, so it blows constantly air outside. One good thing about cassette toilet has been that uh, during Sarah's uh, monthly periods, Sarah can uh, wash her under parts. And that is a good thing in cassette toilet. And we wanted to have that option also in our zipper ending toilet. And airhead is only one that you can do it. Those are the things why we chose the airhead. This is a dry toilet, but we will try out some pee test. So if you splash it, how does it work? Or if we have a male friends in our van. Whoopsie! Woo! This is hard to prove, but it's it's not water there. Only tiny bit dripping here. So everything went to this pee part, which is excellent because I want to wash my ash with the water. And this is perfect for that. Yeah. And good thing if you compare this airhead to very popular nature head one is when you empty the pee jug here you don't have to open this whole part. In nature's heads, you have to, every time, 
what your fees is when you want to empty the pee truck. It's no, 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 no to us. We are paying for the better design. Yeah. And this whole thing, it feels very sturdy, not flimsy at all. So let's see if this bird it. I love it already. And it's really tiny. We were a bit worried we could not fit it in our tiny, tiny bathroom. So toilet is first thing that we can actually disassemble from the inside. There is some water pipes, electrical wires. Everything has to gone, go yeah. away. And then we start to demolish this. We just demolish it with the knife and take it out. And that is the yeah. first thing that we do. And we have actually fixed that uh, shower tread two times. And we got a uh, uh, new life for it for over a year. So it was a uh, job well done. It was time when we were traveling and we got the shower working. That was the most important part of it, yeah. of the fixes. But now it's time to demolish things. Oh, so exciting! Bye bye, cassette. Bye bye. Ah. Well, 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 where to begin? Uh, cassette toilet system is here already, so we don't know if we'd start to just unscrew in this so we can get the toilet out. And this is how our cassette compartment looks like now. And you can see the expandable foam in the background. So this is the one we put underneath our shower pan because it was bending and not very solid. So it went under our toilet too. Look. And we got uh, numerous comments that it will crack, it will uh, break underneath there and it, need, it won't work underneath here. If you ever has used PU foam, you know that it's not gonna brindle. The blade is like this, it will work great. Yeah, every time when people build something, there's always comments saying you shouldn't do that and you shouldn't do this. Yeah, PU is really good support. This can last for years beneath shower pan to supports. And it has been expanding everywhere we wanted it. And a little bit overspills also. There should be always overspills. But Yoni does have a really good point, so that's why we don't ever ask advice. We just do every renovation as we please and then read the hateful comments. Oh my god, you are destroying your bathroom. No one will ever buy your van. Well, who cares? You have to live in your life as you want it. Yeah, they have support beneath the shower pan, but not enough. This is uh, four millimeters too thin support that they install in factory. Uh, luckily, this was uh, at one point, uh, the water was leaking here. No water damage anywhere. And funny part, this is from another uh, Adria Twin. It's a forest uh, furniture. We have a titan and this is from forest. I want my money back. Why did you use that? Well, yeah, no water damage. Everything is going as planned and we can demolish the whole, whole thing right here, right now, today. Our plans failed. Our escape hatch is too small. Oh my god. This is so satisfying. Mm. 
renovation. Demolition is done. Now we start to build. We built the wall. We will build the wall. Yeah, you have to actually build the whole thing again because there is a caps in an old uh, shower setup. There was a shower pan here, so they didn't actually build a complete wall over there. But luckily, uh, there's a Druma ducts. They actually fit there beneath or behind the wall that we are building. So that is not going to be a problem. Uh, this is going to be also shut. This uh, old button here going to be away and this small hole will be shut. So there's a lot of uh, wall building to do today. Yeah, really simple work. We bought a uh, plank at one nine euros from the local uh, hardware store. Gonna actually cut it to the fit here perfectly there. And then we just gonna some put some uh, supports behind, screw it together. After the wall is done, we're gonna uh, smooth everything out and put some first layer of uh, paint there. So it looks nice. And after that, when we have done that, the walls are ready. Then we can actually start thinking about the floor. And we did actually change our minds about the floor four times. <laughs> First we thought that we were going to use uh, epoxy mortar and use uh, normal tiles here. It would be really nice to have a, a real uh, shower tiles here. Because epoxy mortar is uh, waterproof itself. We don't have any seams that could actually crack and there is no seams that could actually uh, get wet or in the time uh, get water inside. These uh, walls are swimming here, so they don't uh, bend when the van shell bends. So that's just really good. There ain't gonna be any cracks. And you can see on the trailers, they do this uh, stretching a lot and they don't crack also on those. It uh, levels itself, so it's really easy to actually apply here. Uh, we changed our minds on the color for, I think, three times. We were actually thinking about uh, really uh, white. And now we decided that it's going to be gray with glitter. So it uh, will be this little bit shine in the top of it. So it, Sarah is really pleased with that color. In overtime, the white epoxy will turn very yellow color. And we decided that gray is just much easier to keep clean. So gray is something you cannot go wrong. And I'm taking out of these old silicones. Yeah. Project day continues. Yeah. This is quite easy for the work. Which we, if you think. It's just built the build the wall. Uh, the airbox thing is really a bit a uh, little bit scary because we have done just once some fiberglass jobs, not epoxy jobs anywhere but what well, we have looked a lot of youtube videos about epoxy floors and it seems really easy when you mix uh, the hardener or b part and the epoxy in the right amount it, it won't go wrong and this project will be super fun because we don't know the results so we don't have like zero expectation the most important thing for us is the floor shouldn't leak at all. So if we succeed on that, everything else is just a bonus. But we are both a bit nitpickers, so I'm guessing this will be an excellent result. Our hopes are really high. Ooh, I'm in the tube! It's a tight fit. Blooms. Hey, it went right through. <laughs> the first one is somewhere in the wall. 
inside of the wall. And this I have to sand. I'm using leftover pieces to uh, build a support for the holes. So, really easy. It's like uh, fixing plywood or this normal household walls. We table that. And this is drywall, I think it's called. This uh, board which breaks really easily, so you just cut the hole and put there some support. Bad example. Wait, do I have it too hot? Okay. And the last piece is they are this small, so I have to use just my knife. Sissy knife. Woman. Gulking guns or glue guns, what they call that. We have actually bought these like 10 because we don't want to own anything. But we always have to buy because we use glues and silicones and everything. Now we bought actually this uh, professional version of them. Glue gun. Usually we buy those crappy two euro ones that broke when glue is even a little bit hard in it. Yeah, we got all the pieces ready for the wall, all the supports for the wall pieces. So now we just uh, glue everything to the support pieces. This was the hardest part. I know it would be much uh, faster to do like uh, cut square holes on the wall and put there a square thing and that's it but i know i wanted to uh, save as much as possible the old wall okay minimal tools minimal things now it's ready we have uh, walls that we can start building on so it's another working day this time it's much colder uh, yeah it's a day of sanding We're gonna sand it and we're gonna use uh, this uh, fixing concrete stuff to even all things up. Then put a layer, base layer of paint everywhere and then we have good base to make the epoxy floor. Yeah, and we have to also build our plumbings from the scratch. We bought the plumbing stuff from Spain because we planned the plumbing in Spain. Our plumbing costed us around 7 euros. When buying from Caravan store it would cost something like 150 euros. So always think out of the box. Yeah, Normal uh, hardware stores, they have a lot of things that you can use in a van build. I would use just a normal uh, hardware store and DUI stores to build my own van. DIY. Yeah, why? Do you why? Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not drunk. <laughs> and we went for the local hardware store to buy this wooden plank so we will make a little trim around the shower pan or the place where the shower pan existed. Just sawing our trims to the shower room. So there is a one bend in the shower room and we have to bend a trim. This is 9 mm. Uh, trim and there's two ways either with the steam or with these cuts. I learned from YouTube <laughs> Just five minutes ago <laughs> videos are great to actually learn things because somebody shows you Also the fails and also when they succeed second that and special thanks for the Indian guys who explain everything in three minute time Thank you. So this part is not bending. I have to no this is, uh, but this part. It didn't went as smoothly as other people's videos, but I think uh, we are pleased with this. Also, we just bent this to its place. Because uh, on top of this, there will be epoxy. So 
it will be just here as a trim, nothing else. <coughs> Jigsaw would be really nice and not this one because we don't get like uh, these uh, corners and uh, they are not always straight so we have to sand them. Now we have the base of the epoxy done. So we have little slopes in the sides. So when we put the epoxy water over there, it will have a little bit of slope. It's much easier to clean up the bathroom when it's like straight square there. Yeah. So we are pleased. Everything looks good, even the curvy part. Yeah, epoxy is arriving in I think five days. So we're gonna continue when the epoxy comes. And also, ah, we have to rebuild the sewers. But that is uh, another subject. Yeah, it will be easy job. Some dismantling, some uh, things that we have to actually adjust so we can put our new sewers there. But I'm really pleased. Tomorrow we will be sanding down the caulk that we used and painted, painted over. This morning has been gone for uh, measuring and testing our theories how we're gonna build the van. Yeah, those are the slowest and most annoying parts because then you don't see any results. But it's very important part because when you measure everything twice and cut only one. Usually 1.5 times. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do the clammings or sewers in place. So there will be like a ring that holds the, uh, the sewer in place better. Because now it's like a perfect fit to the hole. But we cannot put it there because otherwise if we step on it, it will go down straight. So. I will put some uh, modification ring that will squeeze the uh, hole like six millimeters. We had a few thoughts about our bathroom door and we decided to keep our tumbler door that we have hated from very first but we will make a new railing for it so it will be good as new, even better. Now the tumbler door has actually moved, uh, there is a railing uh, beneath the door, so it so slides there. Really bad design. Design. But now, what what we're gonna actually test? We don't know if it works. We're gonna put this railing on the top of the door, and it will slide up. So hopefully, it will slide easily. Like a normal sliding door. Yeah and it won't drop from there. This was from Amazon, It's uh, this railing is plastic. The door weighs about 5 kilograms. Lots of planning to do, and now I'm just doing the sewer. When yeah. I have time, I have to do some Thinking. tinkering. Yeah, and coffee helps with that, because the plumbing is so scary. It doesn't matter how much time and effort and money you put in your bathroom renovation if you discover you have a leaks then it's kind of yeah i don't want to think about it defeat the purpose of yeah. the whole build yes This is hard work. Renovating old. Making new would be really nice. Just uh, making new railings and putting all new grey water tanks in place. And Okay, uh, now the old sewers are out from the grey water tank. And there was uh, this level meter that I disassembled and yeah. Saying aloud the colors to the video was great success because now I can actually assemble the level meter again just by looking at the video. 
kernomaa, aliruskee, sitten on harmaa, vihreä, valkoinen. There's some good on also when you are making vlogs while you are making renovations. I was taking out the hole, grey weather tank, out from there, because uh, there is a silver connection above the grey weather tank. But I think we can actually uh, make it without taking the grey weather tank out, because it's here. We just put the silver line there already when we are starting to assemb assemble this. So we don't have to take out our flavor tank. I actually disassembled the whole thing already and then just decided that it's not needed. Yeah, as you can see from these uh, railings that are connected to the, our flavor tank, it has been taken a hit a couple of times. It has a scratches in front of it and uh, two of the bars that hold it together are bent. But yeah, it happened like uh, five years ago, so they are working great. I'm gonna actually assemble all back together our crave of the tank and we're gonna make all the work from here. Day of sanding, yeah. Today we are gonna do just the small things that even you don't see when the product is ready. Yesterday we went to the Leroy Merlin to get all the rest of the stuff that we need for our plumbing. So sewer pipe, bendable, some adapters that go and also more adapters. So this will connect to our sewers and this pipe is 32 millimeter, which, which is standard in a uh, like home, but we have 28 millimeter <laughs> sewer hoses. So again, we have to make adapters. And epoxy is at the moment uh, in Tupacco shop in the near town, and we're gonna pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, we don't trust anymore the French post because they failed our, us two times. <laughs> That's why we are using uh, either Amazon to, to the Amazon Locker or DPD, so they will actually deliver the stuff to the tobacco shop. Not here, because yeah, these houses does not have any numbers, so they don't even find us. Time flies by when you are renovating your van. It's almost springtime, so we have both of the sewers installed. They are glued to, to the place. We glued them uh, from either direction, so from up and from down, as they were with the old ones. Yeah, they didn't save any glue when they installed the old sewer lines here. We are afraid, of, a little bit afraid of that it's gonna be leaking at some point. But we have a uh, plan B, because these sewers are made not made for installation like this. Uh, the drainage is looking like this. So the kitchen sink, it has a seal over here. So we're gonna go just put the rubber mat on top of the epoxy and put these ones on top of the sewers. So it if it's leaking when we have actually made the epoxy. This is not high that we planned. We planned like 10 centimeters. Now it's just a four or five, but that should be enough in both cases uh, what comes to our door. It's not that straightforward to actually install a door here because it's uh, curved. So we have made plans for two different kind of doors. Either uh, taking the old door and put it in the railings on top, so it will be like four centimeters lower than this uh, board here. Uh, other option, we have to have option because we don't know if it works, is uh, buying a normal shower curtain. So then we will have a shower curtain on this uh, wall over here and a shower curtain taped to this frame and you can put it here to the door and that's because if our railings doesn't work the curtain will wrap into your ass and it's really hard to shower there but 
in other sense we will have this room over here the shower compared to old one which was this part so our asses will not touch the curtains that easily we are planning to do slopes to the shower so it would be draining a lot uh, better but we have learned that uh, there's no point of making slopes to a van because it's always tilted in some direction and what comes to slopes we have two drainage there and they are 35 millimeter drainage uh, the old ones were 25 millimeters and those are more than enough, enough with our water pressure to drain all the water from the shower only time that it's not draining it's when it's stuck with Sarah's hair <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's going to lie. And about the level of the van, uh, our epoxy is self-leveling. So when we start to actually install the epoxy, we have to take the van completely straight. Because otherwise the other end will be full of epoxy and other one there ain't epoxy at all. The most scariest part of the whole install will start now. We have doing some preparations, so we are using self-leveling epoxy. So we need to actually level the van first. <laughs> we are not just using one epoxy. Then <laughs> this is inside three epoxies. First is the primer, what we are gonna do now. And after six hours, we're gonna put the epoxy mortar over there and then wait for three days. And then we have the Top coat. Top coat on top of it. So three epoxy installs. We thought that there would be lots of bubbles everywhere, but there's, there ain't. This is self-leveling mortar. The epoxy pour mortar part was easy. It's self-leveling, so it's really easy to uh, put there. And we were said that there will be bubbles, there will be lots of bubbles, but there weren't. There was a couple of uh, larger pieces of something on the floor and it showed up, but zero bubbles. And Sarah is adding the glitter. This is very addictive. Look, I feel like I'm an eight year old again. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Long, exciting day behind two layers of epoxy and a lot of sparkles glitter much that will all be dusty devil flakes they're everywhere when you start to lay the glitter around you can see spotches and then you want to cover the spotches and then you discover you kind of infested the whole area with the sparky glitter yeah everything went uh, better than I expected now we just uh, let the epoxy cure for 24 hours yeah uh, we have those caps on top of our um, drainage protecting that uh, the epoxy is not uh, flowing outside so we're gonna take those out in 24 hours when uh, epoxy is still like a sticky yeah. substance now when if we take those out all the epoxy will flow <laughs> outside we got these uh, packages that were pre-packaged and they have the right amount of uh, resin and the hardener so we just mix them up and you sh shouldn't have any opportunity to yeah if you follow the instructions that are only written in French but thank god for Google Translator and this actually French made epoxies. Yeah. Mat Pro. Because so it we was... have a French bathroom now. <laughs> it looks beautiful. 
Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Holographic sparkles. Yeah, it's a light gray. And it was more light than we thought. Yeah, we didn't want to have like a too dark gray. Because it's kind of hard to keep a dark floor clean. But that one look at almost white. And white floor is also really hard to yeah. keep clean. But I hope the sparkles will help to make the surface so busy that you don't see if there's a dust or something. Now we have a shower room that lasts for 20 or 30 years. So we have to continue living in this van for that long. Yeah. And the total cost, I have not counted, but approximately 300 euros. No, not that much. 220 euros. Yeah. We have to buy some tools and we yeah. were not cheap about the epoxy. Yeah, epoxy was 150 euros with the porches. And 70 euros was approximately all the tools, including the drill. But it was uh, from Lidl and cost only 20 euros. <laughs> God bless Lidl. But for example, rollers and yeah. uh, those plywoods that we had to buy to build those. All those Little adapts. Little things. Little screws. We were, we were going to the hardware store and we spent 50 euros just for little screws and things that we wanted there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really happy with the result and I don't feel bad spending money on our home. And bathroom renovation is much more costier in a house or apartment. Yeah, so that's awesome. 250 euros or 220 euro uh, remodel of the whole bathroom is not that bad. We are winning on this uh, bathroom renovation. <laughs> yeah, it always takes time. It takes uh, double the time and triple the money. That's true. We and were actually thinking about 150 euros or 100 euros for this, but yeah. yeah. And there's so many phases, like you need to sand and then glue and wait and then vacuum and then clean and it, ooh, all the boring stuff. Uh, plus, it's a springtime here in France, and it's not really warm in here. This is really cold part of the yeah. <laughs> France. Now, let the epoxy harden for 24 hours. Let's take the cap off of the drainage, and then let it harden for the next 48 hours. This is really good feeling, because this was the scariest part. And we are so glad we have the courage to modify our expensive vehicle and make it look more suitable for us. Yeah, there is a modification, a caravan modification group in uh, Facebook and there's a lot of Finnish people, uh, it's Finnish language, but every time when somebody does a major renovation, there's always like three comments. Uh, how about when you sell that caravan, the well, motor value. home, resell value? Yeah. Well, usually if you are doing uh, the renovation well, it goes higher and it's easier to find buyers. Yeah. Of course, if you do bad renovation will go down but if you live in that vehicle and it makes you happy so it's like a fortune to you and your happiness even it looks like shit to somebody else yes but let's <laughs> put the heater on and let's go to the house to have some sparkling wine i take you sleep <laughs> fast forward to 48 hours later, a bit nippy, but gorgeous sunny day, so we will continue laying the epoxy. Se uh, third floor, third, third coat. Top so coat. now we are going to go top coat and it's crystal clear because we have those uh, timangis, <laughs> diamonds. Glitter leshitter. We already named our bathroom. Yeah, so just gonna put the top coat. That is the most hardest part of the uh, epoxy, so it will be really nice, easy to clean and everything. Yeah, yeah, bit nippy still. Uh, it should be the warmest day of the whole Spring. month, so it's pretty nice. But we have some mixing to do. We have to mix the epoxies and yeah, and I will clean the walls and floor so yeah. there's zero dust. And one word about this 
situation that we are in. So we are house sitting currently in these beautiful three houses actually and we feel so blessed we can be here because now we can do these kind of projects because the fiberglass and epoxy they will smell so bad you cannot live and renovate your van at the same time. Well I guess you can but then your brains will be full of holes because the fumes are so bad. Yeah, excellent. And hats off to all you guys who build your van in a parking lot without any power tools while living in your van. That's amazing. If you can do that, then nothing will stop you. Tästä oli Ylleri hyvä tästä. Tupea. Tossa tulee vettäkin ja se silti pysyy. Now we have our YouTube channel name in our van. Two. It took seven years. I like it. It's not that huge, like a billboard. Top coat is on and seems like there's no bubbles. I'm pretty sure when we look at it in different uh, sunlight there will be bubbles, but hopefully not. It's smooth as baby's butt. Se asuu just siihen puupalkkiin. Ruma reikähän siinä vielä on. That's our glory hall. Now we have the vent installed. It's ready. The vent fan is installed. It's ready. Uh, what we did on purpose, put the uh, fan over here in the compartment that is uh, insulated from the inside. So even if this fan is really quiet, it's outside of living areas. We had already here a fan because we have an SOG system on our cassette toilet and it, it worked great because it was basically odorless experience of cassette toilet. You know if you have been in a van that has cassette toilet that it smells a lot inside when you use it. But the SOG system it's totally uh, odorless. Yes, uh, we got 12 volts here available because there was a fan already. Uh, only minus thing that it's on only when we, our pump is on. I have to rewire fire something that it's always on. But yeah, uh, compost toilet they have always fan on. It's 24 seven running because uh, you don't want to get those odors. And also it uh, dries up the compost. So the fan is here. And also what is good because now if our neighbor is here, he, he can actually smell our poop. Uh, because of the SOT system, they have these carbon filters and they basically take out maybe 90% of the uh, poop smells that are coming out from the fan. So we have it already here, so it's really easy install for us. Yeah. In overall, pretty easy install this uh, toilet side. The epoxy side was uh, more demanding. So this was fun, fun little project. We have here our uh, plumbings. It was water for our cassette toilet for flushing. And we have to actually cap this. We bought some 12 millimeter connectors so we can use that to plug this out so we can use our water tanks already. <laughs> Yes, sitten mä tulen pihalle. Ja tästä. Yes, it works! The door is on its rail and it's moving this easily. Before we had to like uh, 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 get it moving. Uh, everything went Perfectly. Uh, we bought this railing for 30 euros from Amazon and it's plastic, but it still is tough enough to hold this uh, 
door. Underneath there, uh, there is, uh, I think, three centimeters uh, lap over the railing here, so the water doesn't come to the van or living area side. Only thing that we have to is adjust the lock mechanism because it, this came a little bit higher than it was before. So small things that we have to done, but really pleased with this easy moving door. And what comes to the epoxy floor? Yeah, there was three coats, primer, then the paint or mortar epoxy itself and top coat. Top coat is uh, really clear and really slippery, <laughs> but it's easy to clean and now it's shiny. Shine, shine, like a diamond. shine like a diamond. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the epoxy, and I would actually do epoxy floors in future builds if we ever build a van. And this is our 3D wall. It just makes it of these wooden planks, and we did paint it over with the white paint. So I like it a lot. I think it's very pretty and modern. We just have to put the toilet there and. Uh, glued, glued the railings to the floor. I wasn't actually gluing the railings to the floor because I wanted to have a, sh a large shower room, but Sarah demanded that we do it, so we do it. Woman does and woman wants, just go with it. Happy life, happy wife. Happy life, happy wife. Our dry toilet airhead is almost installed and we did choose the tiniest model. This is the marine version. I think this is one of the most smallest one that are in the market. And it's very small, but it takes kind of a lot of space. For example, there is this pea chuck that you need to empty. It almost touches our train. Then there is this agitator. There needs to be a space so you can flash the toilet. Then there is this trap door wall you have to be able to reach that and also open the lid completely and then there is this air venting tube on the other side we couldn't fit it here so it takes kind of a lot of space too and the fan lives inside of this bulky thing it's like a size of the big fist so it takes a space if you put it inside of the bathroom and most important thing always test sit your toilet so your knees won't touch the walls or cabinets or something so overall even we did choose the tiniest one this takes kind of lot of space so doing the measurements is essential last small task we have a T connector other connector there and uh, we just have to change it to sm normal straight one small chops they are everywhere when you are actually finishing the, all the uh, chops and they, they take like two times more time that you anticipate it yeah just changing the connector and that's it then we have a water sewer bathroom everything toilets everything in place so it's ready finally Our bathroom is totally ready. So we have the plumbings that are connected. Uh, it was a bit sketchy work with adapters that we need to use to actually connect all the sewers to our van because they are odd sized compared to French protocols. Yeah, we use French and Spanish uh, spare parts from the normal warehouses and hardware stores and some of the caravan stuff is uh, weird sized and on top of that that uh, the sizes are different also we are lacking tools we don't have any nice tools when we started we had just uh, my knife and screwdriver and with those we demolished the whole bathroom and all the other things are actually loaned from the owners of the houses or we actually bought drill and we had just uh, metal drill bits but they work on wood so we are pleased with that uh, otherwise uh, yeah we have been using 
what we have. For example, we didn't have drill bits for making holes, so we just used one and push it full of holes and then sand it to be circle. Yeah. Just using what we have. We didn't want to buy any tools just for one project. But we got everything connected, N nothing is leaking, so this is pretty damn big project ready. I'm pleased. We can shit in our bathroom again.